And now, we talk with a woman who's been described as a modern-day Irish mystic, so, Lorna Byrne. So her book, Angels in My Hair, in which she describes her experiences with the spirit world, has been a long-time bestseller in Ireland and the UK, and has just been released here in the US. When I was two years old, the doctor told my mother I was retarded. When I was a baby, my mother noticed that I always seemed to be in a world of my own. Surrounding my mother, I saw wonderful, bright, shiny beings in all the colors of the rainbow. These beings floated in the air like feathers. At that time, I didn't understand that I was seeing anything different from what other people saw. It would be much later that I learned from them that they were called angels. Ever since she was a baby, Lorna Byrne has been seeing and communicating with what she describes as angels. Raised in poverty in Dublin in the 1950s, she seemed to be in a world of her own. She spoke to no one about her visions and was considered retarded. Now for the first time, she's talking publicly about her life and experiences and thousands of people are listening. I can't recall any time not seeing angels. So I would always say to, to someone, from the moment I opened my eyes, because I saw them around my mom, my dad, you know, my sister. Um, and of course, I was so small, I thought everyone saw them. As you have to remember when you're a baby, you can't talk. So you, you saw them around your mom and I used to reach up to try and play with them and, and all of that. Um, I couldn't imagine life without them. I wouldn't know what life would be without them. It's easy to understand why one would be dismissive of a woman who claims to talk with angels on a daily basis. But there's something different about the quiet-spoken Lorna Byrne. And thousands of people say their lives have been changed by her. Her story, told in Angels in My Hair, has been released by the prestigious publisher Random House and has already topped the bestseller lists in Ireland and the UK. Recently released in the US, there are now plans to distribute the book in over 40 countries. During her recent visit to New York, Lorna Byrne spoke with Out of Ireland about her experiences. Everyone has a guardian angel and I would see this light behind every single human being. I've never seen anybody without this light behind them. And I always say it's three steps behind a person. And on different occasions this light would open up and I would see the guardian angel. And it would usually be for a reason to do with the person. Like even here in New York, at times I would get distracted even walking down the street because I would see angels around people helping them. You know, even um, I saw yesterday um, and I was kind of astonished. You know, I saw this beautiful bag lady, I believe that's what you would call her. And her guardian angel light lit up behind her. And her guardian angel was just absolutely beautiful. Sometimes they always give a human appearance. OK, sometimes they will show wings, but a lot of the time they don't, you know. Now, many people, in particular those who have not read your book, might, might think you're delusional, even crazy. How do you know that these visions are not a figment of your imagination? Because um, I've never known life without angels. And because I see them as I see you, I don't see them in my mind. And I feel very privileged to see them that way. I don't know why God chose me in the way that um, he has, I would say to him, why didn't you choose someone else? You know, um, like yourself or, or, or someone, you know, who was well educated, I would say, to help more um, in, in that way. But anytime I have asked that question, I, I was told um, it, that God wanted to keep me and the angels from becoming uncontaminated, contaminated in any way, so, so that I could do this. Now, what do you believe is the purpose of these angels and what do they have to say? They're here to help us in literally every way and that goes right across the board. That is even to, to bring peace, to heal us physically, to heal us spiritually. It's even to help us walk. You know, it's to help us actually do every, to achieve as much as we can within our life. 
you're never, never alone because your guardian angel is there with you every second of your life. Your guardian angel is there with you from even before you were conceived and is there with you even when you die and even when you pass over to help you to do all of that. And they are there to comfort us in every single way of our life. Even when you're feeling sad and lonely, you know, your guardian angel is right there sitting beside you or, or wrapped around you. They're doing as much as they can to, to comfort you, to give you the feeling, you know, that you will get through, through this. And I think that is wonderful. Would you consider yourself a very religious person? No, I don't think I'm any more religious than anybody else. I know I have great faith. I know I am, I'm a Catholic because I was born in Ireland and most people were Catholic in, in Ireland. Um, but I think if I was born into another religion, I think God would have me doing the same thing. So angels, as far as angels are concerned, it doesn't matter what religion you are? No, no. Um, I see angels with everybody, literally everybody. Now, why do you think these angels reveal themselves to you and not to anybody else? But they are communicating with you every single day. It's just that the human being doesn't recognize it or finds it hard to recognize. Um, I would say to people, it's that gut feeling you get about something that's happening in, in, in your life. Or some people would say it's that intuition. It is. That is your, your angels talking to you. Adults kind of and parents say to children, that's not real, unless it's solid. We don't want to listen to our, our young children, but children have just come from heaven. And many a times they pass on messages to, to the parents or to aunts or uncles. And you'd often hear parents saying, where on earth did Johnny get that from? Or, you know, where did that come from? And straight away the parents, most of the time, get frightened. So they, they say something cross to the child that the child eventually learns, I mustn't, ever. And then they lose that ability because they close it off. You know, when, when we should be using that gift more and more. Your book has been a huge success in Ireland and the UK. Why do you think it's been so popular? Well, I can only tell you what now, what feedback I have got from people that um, have already read the book. And they do say they get great comfort for it. They say they become spiritually aware, spiritually awoken. They tell me that it has changed their life. It has made them look on life differently and always for the better. And they would tell me since they have read the book, you know, they have passed it on to others. They have sent it off as presents and all of that, but it has changed them completely. And it has given back hope no matter what is happening in their life. Again, the name of the book is Angels in My Hair by Lorna Byrne, a huge success in Ireland and the UK, and now released here in the US.